What up, everybody? It's your boy, Blizzy, with another Blizzy mobile video. Once again, today is the 17th of September. I don't have the iPhone 14 Pro Max in my hands. We're not doing any kind of hands-on video once again here. Just giving you guys an update. So I ordered my phone on the, the 10th. Did the pre-order on the, the 10th. And it's the 17th. The phone was released yesterday in the stores on Friday. And um, basically I will never pre-order again. I will do just like this. If you cannot order it from Apple, you will not be guaranteed to have the phone on launch day. If you do not have the time or the ability to wake up and just go to the Apple store or to T-Mobile on the release day, you're going to be like me and you're going to wait. So now um, I do have an expected arrival date of Monday the 20th, but I still do not have a tracking number as of right now. And um, yeah, my card was just charged today. So I knew once that went through that the, they were going to start the process and I um, reached out to T-Mobile last night and just let them know a little bit of how I felt. It's frustrating, but um, I'm not going to get too invested in um, having an issue with it, but it is. You know, um, there's a lot of content going out right now there's a lot of channels I'm sure if you're watching this and you can watch my few minute little rant that you've watched a million iPhone 14 Pro and Pro Max unboxings and have got a double and triple dose of the hands-on experience and really are just like me and I'm over it a little bit I just want to get my hands on it and to start figuring out some things that I like about it to bring you guys content because I like to look at different aspects of the operating system and different things that it does that I like, especially these new cameras and I want to experience the dynamic island. But it's going to be Monday for me before I can do a hands-on video and bring you guys a little bit of how I feel about it and some content from my side that is going to be a little bit different than what you might be seeing all over YouTube. Really want to give a shout out to the Unbox Therapy. They're doing, they're doing some really good videos that um, from the beginning from when the phone was on pre-order to the launch and just they do good videos and Tech Odyssey over there is doing some good videos with it and some good comparison videos to some other flagship devices that are out there but uh, T-Mobile could not guarantee that they would have me the phone on the launch day and now we're waiting and shipping limbo. So that's where we're going from there. Uh, Monday is supposed to be the day that I get it and we'll see. Whenever I uh, get a tracking number then this situation will be updated a little bit more but anytime in the future it's been years since I've done a pre-order and went through this part of the process, but 
I was kind of the, under the assumption that I would have the phone on launch day, just like everybody else, especially going out of your way and pre-ordering and going through with all of that. You would definitely want to feel like your first priority, but nah. What what can you expect, I guess, right? But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and maybe your situation is a little bit better with uh, your pre-order and how that went for you. Next time, I'll just get my happy self up early in the morning and go to the store and wait in line because it's not like when the iPhone 3 came out and it was a revolutionary um, device being put upon us to uh, the excitement just like the iPod touch and the iPhone 3 when it came out is just you know people w would wait in flocks for that to come out because that was revolutionary like literally so times are a little bit different everyone that I've watched on YouTube and watch their experience of uh, waking up in the morning early and going to the store all of the videos that I've seen they were all successful I don't know how, how, were, how was your experience with uh, your pre-order and how did that work for you and this is just my situation and those are just other situations that I've so happened to watch on YouTube just different channels and different people wake up in the morning and go to the store and there's some people in line ahead of you ahead of them but they walked out not too long after with their own phone so let me know in the comments how your situation went and uh, do you have the phone that you want yet and how's it going was the uh, eSIM that big of a deal for people I've already been using eSIM for months now on all of my devices and I've gone away from using a physical SIM card. <clears throat> I really enjoy transferring everything over and it's it's pretty easy. Um, at this point though you do got to make a phone call to your provider to most of the time you have to make a phone call to your provider to let them update update your SS EID or EEID and your IMEI and all of that they they need to update that on their side to get you moving forward with your service and stuff but also let me know in the comments how you guys feel about the eSIM and I'll if you have any questions about that I'm pretty good with it I've been using it and I like it so the e the, the SIM card tray being gone is definitely not a big deal for me but hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know. Hit me up, subscribe, comment.